Hello everyone, welcome to Grey Pot. Today's recipe is a very special Valentine's Day dessert. This is a chocolate flower pot. These chocolate cups are so easy and very interesting to make. So here I've used half a cup of grated dark chocolate and melt it using a double boiler method. Mix it in between and you can see the chocolate has started to melt. Here I'll show you how you can temper the chocolate. In the professional way of tempering, you should always check the temperature using a thermometer. So here I'll show you how to temper the chocolate without any gadgets. Once the entire chocolate is melted, take it out from the heat and then add in around 1 foot cup of dark chocolate and mix it and with the heat of the melted chocolate these chocolate chunks will also get melted and the temperature of the chocolate will reduce a bit once the entire chocolate is melted then keep it back onto the flame and again heat it up for around one minute this method is called as tempering and it always works just perfect for me now take a paper cup and cut the top portion of it. If you want you can use the entire paper cup but I am making the chocolate cups in smaller size. After cutting the top part give a small slit on the side. And the second cup I am making in this one so that I will get those striped designs over my chocolate cup. Once you cut the top portion don't forget to give a slit on the side. Now take the melted chocolate and pour it into the cups. After pouring a small quantity, start rotating the cup so that the chocolate will coat evenly. After coating it, pour out the excess chocolate back into the bowl so that an even layer of chocolate coating is formed. Now a thin layer of chocolate coating is formed. Now keep it aside till it is set. Now repeat the same steps with the second cup. Pour in the chocolate, start rotating the cups, an even layer of chocolate coating is formed. Don't forget to pour the excess chocolate back into the bowl. So do you know why we are tempering the chocolate? Once the tempered chocolate is set, it will not melt fast in the room temperature. So when you are making these type of chocolate creations, don't forget to temper your chocolate. Now keep it aside to set. Once the chocolate is partially set, pour in some more chocolate and do the second coating. And don't forget to pour the excess chocolate back into the bowl even after the second coating. Do the same with the second cup. Now I kept both the chocolate cups in fridge for 5 minutes. Now I made some chocolate decorations using the leftover chocolate. You can also pour these melted chocolate into a piping bag and then pipe out some designs. As this is a Valentine's special dessert, I made some heart shaped designs. Now let's see how to make the strawberry roses. Take some bright red colored strawberries and insert a toothpick or a lollipop stick on the back side. With the help of a small knife or a carving knife, 
give small slits to make petals. Do it very carefully or else you may break the petals. And that's it. How easily we made a strawberry rose. Let me show you one more. I inserted a lollipop stick and start making the petals. If you have the professional vegetable carving knife, you can make these petals really beautiful. But that's okay, even our simple kitchen knives can do wonders. Our beautiful strawberry roses are ready. Now let's check the chocolate cup. It has set completely. Slowly peel out the paper cup and remove the chocolate cup from inside. Our beautiful chocolate cup got ready. I'm going to fill this chocolate cup using a chocolate pudding. You can actually fill it up with anything like ice creams, cakes, puddings, but don't pour anything hot. Now in the flower pot we need some mud. To get the mud look, I crumbled some chocolate cake and put it on top of the pudding. We can also crumble some chocolate cookies instead of cake. Now cut the lollipop stick into the desired length and insert it into the cup. Now let's check our second chocolate cup. Let me tell you the paper cup was more easy to peel out than the plastic one. And some of the top portion got chipped off while peeling it. And to make it neat, I placed this chocolate cup on top of a hot plate. Now our second chocolate cup is also ready. I filled it up with the chocolate pudding. And this chocolate pudding doesn't have any egg, gelatin or agar agar. The recipe for this delicious chocolate pudding is coming up. After adding the cake crumbles, insert the strawberry rose. Add some green to give that beautiful look. Our beautiful chocolate cup filled with chocolate pudding with the beautiful strawberry rose. A very special valentine gift. And as we have tempered the chocolate really well, these cups are not gonna melt. So definitely try out this yummy valentine day gift and give this video a big thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest. Click the logo to subscribe to Greypot and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the notifications of new videos. Watch more interesting and unique recipe videos from our channel Greypot. Do check it out. Thank you.